Hello and welcome to Microworks and uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, 3D ambient occlusion. So ambient occlusion in 3D is the basically the depth effect you get between your shadows and your object and it's almost like a, a definition effect that adds uh, depth to your renders. But um, a lot of people confuse ambient occlusion and shadows but they're not the same thing. You basically add um, ambient occlusion when you want more depth on your space, in your spaces, between um, objects and your scene. So um, let me show you what um, ambient occlusion actually does in your scene. So I'm going to use V-Ray for this, but um, you can do the same in uh, the native render engine of Cinema 4D. I'm only using V-Ray because um, I'm aware that people who do a lot of interior renders usually prefer to use it. So I have this um, half decent model of a sofa in here with a white background, with a white floor and a white environment. So it's actually very basic. And uh, I'm just going to render this and uh, so you can see what the result is without ambient occlusion. So this is what we're getting. That's, um, it is good enough, but uh, by adding the ambient occlusion effect, we can add a uh, a bit more realism to our uh, scene here. So I'm going to go ahead and add um, ambient occlusion uh, in my settings by going to uh, my various settings and within the uh, indirect illumination tab I'm going to go down to general and then go down to ambient occlusion. So I'm going to turn it on and change them the settings uh, value to uh, 0 0.8 and basically the lower the uh, amount, the lighter the effect and the value ranges between uh, 0 and 1 so 0 0.8 is actually quite dark so um, I'm gonna change the radius to 100 and this setting is actually quite important because it's related to the units of your scene so if you go back to the scene and press command D you can see down here that uh, project scale is set to um, centimeters, which means that if you change the radius setting to say 100, uh, I'm basically saying that I want my ambient occlusion effect to spread for uh, 100 centimeters from each of my objects in my scene. So that's basically one meter. So let's try that, and um, I'm also gonna try and increase the um, subdivision to 16, and this value sets the precision of the ambient occlusion and therefore makes it less grainy. So let's render that and see what happens. So you can see the effect um, immediately. Uh, the spaces between each object has gone darker and now the whole scene has more depth to it and it looks more um, realistic basically. So remember how I said that the, uh, the radius basically determines the, the spread between each object. So we have a meter between each object, so it's way, way too much at the moment. So I'm gonna try and decrease it uh, down to 10. So now we only have 10 centimeters between each object. So let's render that and see what happens. So now we can see um, that we have a much, much sharper definition between our objects. So um, it's basically up to you how much radius looks best for your scene. But for this scene, I think, I reckon 10 is, is actually quite good. So uh, this kind of wraps up this tip on um, ambient occlusion. And I hope I've clarified what it is and what it does. And um, thank you and see you next time.